Hello everyone, Professor Philip Travis here, and this week we're going to be looking at uh, the Cold War, really the height of the tensions of the Cold War, and how it affected American society in the 1950s. Um, the expansion of the arms race, the nuclear arms race, tension over areas like uh, Berlin, of course in the late 40s with the Berlin blockade and the Berlin airlift, uh, ex increasing tensions surrounding events like the Korean War, the fall of China to communism, um, of course rising tensions with the Soviet development of the atomic bomb, and then the American Soviet developments of the so-called super or hydrogen bomb, the first thermonuclear device. These events in the, um, uh, well, at the turn of the 1950s and then carrying into the 1950s, as well as, of course, a fear of, of espionage, uh, the infamous case of the Rosenbergs, um, and, of course, the witch hunting campaigns of the junior senator, Joseph McCarthy, as well as similar actions by a young uh, member of the House of Representatives named Richard Nixon, uh, during the House Un-American Activities Committee investigations. These events at the end of the 1940s, carrying into the 1950s, really sowed the seeds for an American society that was transformed um, by the concern of the potentiality of a third world war, and particularly a nuclear war. It was a the Cold War tensions really transformed American society. And of course, the, the image you're seeing here is, is an artistic depiction of an American family um, that has constructed and is preparing to take shelter in a fallout shelter, a shelter built for the purposes of, uh, of, of sustaining a nuclear war. In the 1950s, the prepper movement, as it's sometimes called, uh, the 1950s was really sort of the emergence of the pop culture sort of uh, interest in prepping for uh, a massive calamity uh, such as this. And so during the 1950s, the building of air raid fallout shelters uh, became um, really relatively commonplace, as did the activity of prepping for um, a nuclear war, and you'll see this in um, the readings this week. All right, so this week, um, the factoid for this week is going to be um, in the um, extra credit discussion area, and I'm going to put a song in there, and the song is actually referenced in Elaine Tyler May's reading, and I want you to listen to the song. It's not a long song. It's an example of a rendition of an early age of rock and roll music. Uh, by Bill Haley and the Comets. Some of you might know Bill Haley and the Comets. Maybe some of you, maybe your parents remembered the, the show um, um, Happy Days, the song Rock Around the Clock. That's Bill Haley and the Comets. Well, this is a song from Bill Haley and the Comets that's not as well known, but sort of speaks to the sort of effect that the Cold War and the fear of nuclear war had on American society coming through the lens of pop music. So I want you to listen to that song, and I want you to kind of summarize what that song's about in the Extra Credit Discussion Forum. I'll see everyone in the Discussion Forum this week. Please let me know if you have any questions, and let's have a great week.